Welcome back to the channel today. I have the T2540 CT. This is from the Traveler series from Sunway Photo. This is a tripod that I use a lot on my channel specifically for video recording, actually uh, using a duplicate right now under the camera that uh, it's a pocket Osmo or Osmo pocket. This particular piece is a reverse folding style. If I can just fold that out, it does have a center column in there, center column adjust down um, but if you want to make it really compact like i do a lot of times and backpackable or even can fit it in a smaller case it is reversible it's very cool just going to throw it out there it does not come with this right here this is uh, an arm i think this one let's see this is the ga-01 it doesn't come with this feature on here but i've actually glued mine in because i use it so often and i need this and so it's it's just attached all the time you could buy this separately this is a sunway photo product as well again that is the ga-01 and i've discussed that in another video kind of showed the different ways that i've used it but it's a great arm and extension on there an additional feature that you can actually thread into this tripod right here in the legs uh, one of the things i like about sunway photo is that everything that they have the design has purpose and there's a lot of function all the way around and the way that I need things, like when I have a tripod, I need to do a lot with it. I need it to do many things for me. It can't just be a tripod to hold one single camera. Usually I have to attach a bag, kind of like these other tripods I have sitting here. So these are also Sunway Photo products that I've reviewed. This one right here is the uh, T3650CM. This is a really heavy duty tripod. This is the one that I do a lot of my shooting off of, or if I'm gonna be planted for a long time, it's windy out, this is the guy I'll take out there. It gets very, very tall. This is probably the most premium of Sunway Photo products that I own personally. Very happy with it. I already have a review on it. I'm in the process of reviewing this head right here. This is a Sunway Photo IB65. And then on top I have, uh, let's see, that's the SDC50 from Sunway Photo, which is a NATO and Arca compatible head. But I like to use those and I have a Sunway Photo gear bag underneath. I like to attach these on most of my tripods because I need the tripods to do a lot. If I'm filming, shooting, hunting, um, you know, spotting with glass, like here's another one, I have another bag on here. This is the Sunway Photo TL32 uh, CS, the 3240 CS rather. And so I have my binos in there right now, but actually a lot of times I will use this one. This is again, the T2540 CT, the Traveler series. I'll actually use this in combination with this head right here, which I do have a video out on currently right now. This is the Sunway Photo uh, PH-01G, and this is kind of like a dedicated glassing head, which 3 8 on the bottom, and this right here, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about this because it's really cool, but I'll throw that on, crank it down, give it a twist, loosen it up, and now I have a dedicated spotting tripod if I'm in the field, I'm done with my video work and I wanna go back to a tripod, that's really useful. In fact, I'll grab the QD head here and I'll just kinda of show you. This is usually what it looks like and this is a, a very nice combination because it's super lightweight and I don't feel like I'm hauling around quite as much gear. Whoops, I'm not hauling around quite as much gear when I throw on this combination. This is a really nice set right here I like it a lot. And if it is a little windy out, one of the things I'll do is I'll go underneath because there is a gear hook on the bottom. I'll throw in a weight like this. And so it'll weight it down. And when the legs are extended, it just helps improve balance and gravity into one central location. That's a nice addition right there with this gear hook. It is threaded. You could remove that if you needed to for any reason. I'll tell you a few things briefly about the T2540CT. First of all, it is a part of the Traveler series. And with the Traveler series, the goal is to keep it lightweight, low profile, small footprint, easily packable, or put it into a case alongside your camera gear. And they did a good job, it definitely does, but it's not gonna you know, diminish any quality along the way. It's not like this is weak or flimsy at all. In fact, this has a really impressive ratio. It weighs 2.5 pounds, but it can hold or bear around 28 pounds, which is really impressive considering, uh, let me give you the leg thicknesses here real quick. The leg extensions go from 25 to 22 to 19 and then 16 all the way down at the end there. That's really impressive. 28 pounds of weight on top of this is not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that, especially at the price point. You'd probably pay around twice that 
in other companies. And so they've done a good thing with that, getting the ratio right. Again, 2.5 pounds is super light for something that goes as tall as this does. Another thing, just being in Minnesota, I've recently started to care more about this design right here with the rubber and the O-rings, the seals, the way that this threads together, keeps out the elements. You know, in Minnesota, it could be raining and sleeting and then solid ice and then frozen solid that night. And this keeps water out, which really matters. Other designs are great, but they're gonna get some sand and grit in them, dust in the air, all those kind of things that eventually work their way into the pieces inside and the threads and it kind of gums stuff up. And so this keeps the dust out, it keeps the water out. It's gonna keep the ice out as well. And that's really important. And I want this to stay nice. I'm gonna beat it up. It's gonna, it's gonna get used hard, but I want it to stay as nice as possible and function smoothly. And so far, even though it's been used in sandy environments, actually quite a bit, and then we're starting to experience some freezing temperatures, freezing rain, and it has gotten some freezing rain. It's kept those elements out as I've been sliding it back and forth, not to mention the rubber rings are really nice. They're easy to grab onto and put some good torque and pressure into. I like that a lot. So that's a great feature. One thing I just feel like I don't see with other companies is the warranty that Sunway Photo has. This has a six year warranty. I can't think of, I can't repeat to you, any other company that has a six year warranty on their products like this at this price point. That's really good. So they believe in their product and they're willing to replace it. Sunway Photo is really easy to get a hold of. I've never had any problem, problems with their products, but if you did, I think it would be very quick for them to resolve your problem or find a solution that works for you. And I'm, I'm very happy to see that there's a six year warranty. That just blows my mind. Again, it's a very low weight uh, tripod. And when I throw on my PH-01, uh, on top of here ahead, it's still a fairly light tripod. And if I need to bring it up really tall and it's windy out, sometimes something I'll do is hang my backpack or a little bag off just to keep that center of gravity in one place and make sure it's not tippy because it is so lightweight, but actually it's never tipped over on me once, not a single time. And everything that I've attached to the top has been very sturdy. I'm gonna talk about that in a second because this is actually what I think is one of the coolest features of this entire tripod. One more thing before I move on, the angles are 23, 55, and then 85. Okay, it's 85 is the last one. Just wanna make sure, and 85. And so that's pretty standard. That's what, what you'd expect and what you'd wanna work with. Um, when things vary from those angles, it's just a little bit awkward. I think they've done their research on that. As far as I can tell that 23, 55, and then 85 are about the right angles for most of the things you're gonna do, whether you're spotting, you're using a piece of glass to glass a hill, you're throwing in a camera, you need to get lower, higher, different heights of people, the things that you're gonna to have to work around, I think those are the angles that are gonna work best with this and the diameter of these legs versus the weight that you may or may not be putting on top of it. I think they did a good job with figuring out angles and weight distribution for the extremes. All right, let's talk about this bit right here. I think this is super cool, it's a great idea, and if you've never had this before, you won't be able to go back to something that doesn't have this. So as I twist this, you should be able to see this bit in the middle is elevating. Eventually it's loose and you're going to see that it is double sided. So that is really neat. This is a double sided piece that sits right in the center of this head. I'm going to take that out. So you have your wheel there, your tension wheel, and then inside there's inside the tube. And actually you can even change this out. If you, it goes to 58 inches high, which is pretty tall for a low profile, small tripod like this. It gets to 58 inches high. If you didn't want a bigger center column, you could just put in a little four incher. And that way when you're going like almost completely prone, it keeps the center height very, very low. That's cool. I like to use the one provided. It's never been a problem for me. I haven't needed to go lower. But this right here, the way that these two work together is so cool. This is a quarter inch on top then a three eighths down there. So if you have um, deeper threads on certain devices like this head I have over here, I can actually thread this on even though there's a quarter inch on the top right there. I can thread in the three eighths down to the bottom like so, give it a spin. And right now only quarter inch is exposed. And then as I lift it up, it goes to three eighths. I can actually throw on this particular Sunway Photo product and tighten it up, give it a twist, it's ready to go. And I have the quarter inch exposed, but it has deep threads inside of here. And then the three eighths, it's engaging that. But if you had something that didn't have quite as deep of threads, all you would have to do, and this is just, I think it's just brilliant. You loosen it up, lefty loosey, lift it out. And this is just a, an exclusively three eighths thread. 
on top, give it a spin, and now you have just a 3 8 bolt to thread onto for whatever your device is and get maximum engagement just like that. I just think that's such a good idea. I haven't had one like that before, but I feel like they should all be like that. It is such a good uh, idea for filming, videography, photography, even glassing. I've had different types of um, fittings. So if I've had 3 8 and I've also had quarter inch for different tools and this right here is so convenient. Just another time saver and another way that they prove that they've really been thinking about it. Again, this is the length of the neck. You would not have to use this full extension. You could back this off, uh, loosen this up, take this out and put in like a four inch extension or smaller. And that would allow you to get really, really low shots. But for me, my goal is to get as much function as I can out of this whole unit and 58 inches is as tall as I really need it for anything that I'm doing, whether that's glassing, videography, channel work. I like the bigger, longer extension on there. If I need to go totally flat, I have better ways to do it, especially with a Pocket Osmo. I'm not using like a DSLR or a Canon. I'm using something that kind of stands up about four inches and I can put it on a ground mount that's weighted. That works really well for me. Most of the time, I want this to be, you know, about medium height, mid height. Uh, so the things that I film on my channel get the proper lighting in. So who is the T2540 CT good for? I would say, you know, most people are going to find a really good use for this in lots of different applications. If you're a traveler, especially this is built, it's purpose built towards you. The convenience and the function from the top to the bottom, you know, looking at this adjustment feature up here, the way that this can adapt for different kinds of ball heads, you know, for me, the way I use it, using it for glassing a lot of times and throwing on different things for hunting. This is super convenient. It only weighs 2.5 pounds. It has a 6061 aluminum chassis and carbon fiber. And so it's very weather resistant having uh, these rubber legs and seals in here. For me, it makes sense for a lot of outdoors applications, backpacking, hiking, making videos in tumultuous weather, which Minnesota is famous for. For me, it makes a lot of sense there, but you don't have to be in those kind of conditions for this to make a lot of sense and be worth the investment because it is lightweight. And, it, and as soon as you need to weigh it down, it's not that hard guys to throw on your backpack or a bag and suddenly your very lightweight tripod is extremely steady. You know, looking at the angles and the way that this was designed, the fact that they're threaded in the legs for additional features like what I've added here, this makes a lot of sense for people doing videography work and, and um, photography work. I think the height 58 inches as a max and it's still very balanced at that point, especially on the 23 degrees. Uh, angle. I think that makes a lot of sense for most people out there. You're not going to feel like it's always tipping one way or another. I've, I've loaded this up with the full 28 pounds, believe it or not. I put 28 pounds plus a bag on there on the very bottom on the gear hook and it's super stable. I didn't notice any flex in the legs. Like actually they're really, really rigid, they're really stiff legs. So I'm happy about that. I think it's going to work for just generally outdoors folks, or maybe you need a tripod for the family. You're going to take pictures a lot of times, video of the kids, and you want something lightweight that's not going to take up a lot of space. Uh, you know, the Traveler series, it really should fit for everybody, especially if you're planning to do some video work and you're not ready to make the jump into like a $500 tripod that's a very serious, high quality piece of gear but you just need something that's a little smaller, doesn't have quite as high of a weight rating, still has lots of features, it's feature rich, but it just doesn't have all of the extras, you know, the 36 millimeter legs, don't quite need that. Well, this is a really good design, it's a good plan. I think it's much more uh, affordable for people who are just getting into things, and maybe you already have the really serious tripod and you don't need a second one of those. Well, that's where this comes in, super handy, easy to navigate, and move around and function in all sorts of weather, it's still gonna hold up for you. And I feel like at the price point, I don't know what else they could even offer you. I don't know what they could have done better to improve this because it's exactly how I like it. If you keep an eye out, you'll be seeing this product a lot on the channel in the background of different shots and different ways that I use it, such as with a binocular spotting for friends, hunting, that kind of thing. Definitely going to get a lot of use in the next month for hunting. Deer hunting is coming up in just a week. Very excited about that. You can find Sunway Photo products all over the internet, especially at amazon.com that's a great place to find them really good prices b and h photo is another place but they're all over the place very popular right now very high quality i have lots more sunway photo product reviews coming up in the next month or so especially i am looking forward to the next one a lot which is about the ib65 ball head it's something you saw in the background of today's video and so if you need something that's a really heavy duty ball head with a good quality tripod such as the 3650 that i referenced earlier 
One last warning in this video, if carbon fiber tripods are new to you, once you get one, you're not going to want to go back. They are that good.